If you have a dot challenger, rear right, stop light, brake light, does not work, you, you see that thing in the middle, it's supposed to light up and it doesn't, we will explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Challenger. If you have one of those and you have problems where rear right stop light, also known as brake light, does not work, we will explain what can easily cause that and in some cases what special, pers special procedure you need to apply to actually make it work. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll cover all that today. So before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save a fortune. So let's explain how to fix that now. So let's explain what we have specifically here guys. We're going to talk about that now. This is a 2018 Dodge Challenger that we'll be demonstrating on. Uh, now we're going to talk about that computer in a little bit. You will need it as well for some certain repairs and we'll explain why. So let me just turn it on while we're talking. Car has been in a little bit of an accident. Ignore that. It runs and drives good. We'll be rebuilding it probably very soon. So we'll go ahead open the trunk on that Dodge Challenger. Once you open the trunk, you come right here, you lift guys the cover, okay, for the trunk, that's where your spare tire and car battery is located, and right here in the corner, you have guys, okay, a fuse box. In that fuse box, okay, you press that thing and pull towards the back, open it like that. Now, you will have a fuse puller on the inside of the lid, usually. Uh, but now let's talk about that. You will guys, okay, need to check one certain fuse. Always when checking fuse, test them. Don't just look through the screen and assume that it's good or bad, okay? Always test them. We have a special video that explains how to test fuses and realize I'll put the link in the description of the video below. If you need to buy uh, cheap fuses, really cheap fuses guys, and realize I'll share the link as well. That way you can uh, get them fast and for a good price too. The fuse that you will need to check guys, it's known as fuse number six, but it's actually the fifth fuse right here from left to right. One, two, three, four, five. That fuse here, even if you have an empty slot, you still count it as a fuse. Go ahead, grab it with the fuse pull, pull it out. This is guys, okay, the fuse here. So, okay, that thing, okay, it's out now. I'm going to get a replacement fuse, okay, and install it. Now, if your tail lights, the brake lights, still does not work on the inside, guys, what can cause that now? Okay, let's check out if our is fixed. If it's not, I'll explain what can easily cause that. Oh, works perfect. In some cases, it could be a bad tail light. Okay, we'll have a video how to replace one. But often when the fuse goes bad, you will need to reset the body control module, the computer codes. You have multiple system and that scanner can do that. It's one of our best favorite uh, scanners, OBD2s. I'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check current price and features, but it works on almost any car you can think of. It's amazing too, that can pay itself off in one time use, guys. Uh, definitely, definitely an amazing too. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time. 